Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter at Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show that brings you the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning before the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investment. It's Monday, October the 1st. It's our 46th show. Thanks to all of you who've been watching so far. I'm telling you, I'm loving the segment more and more every morning. It's my favorite part of the day because we keep finding these outstanding small cap companies and their press releases. Today, I've got five of them for you from both sides of the border. So let's start off first with Orco Silver. It trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the stock symbol OK. They announced an increase in their resource estimate by 86% to 73.1 million ounces of silver equivalent. Those are huge numbers, and that's related to one of their projects in Durango, Mexico. Gary Cope, who's the president of the company, added to that that great news. Not only have we increased our resource substantially, but we also have over 30 holes in the lab for analysis not included in the new resource estimate. They're expecting those rele- to release, release those results pretty soon. They're also drilling 24-7 with two rigs, that's pretty substantial, and they're anticipating release of their next resource estimate before the end of Q1 2008. Orco is firing on all cylinders, they're trading right now at $1.37, they've had a big move since uh, since August, but with those kind of numbers, you can't be surprised, you got to take a closer look at that. Next up, going over the border, Abazius Diamonds trading on the OTC under the stock symbol ABZA. The company announced their largest monthly revenue uh, number ever. They hit $820,000. Now, this is a preliminary unaudited number for the month of August, but it is $820,000. And when they, when they get the audited number, it's just subject to slight adjustments, returns, and so on and so forth. What does the company do? They run an online jewelry store that specifically focuses on diamonds. And being an internet company ourselves, you know that we love uh, dot-com companies that are up and coming. We also know the success of Blue Nile, which is probably the largest distributor of diamonds uh, on the web. So with Abazis hitting almost a million dollars for the month, you've got to take a close look at that. That's up 81% over last year. So they're definitely experiencing that Web 2.0 dot-com growth. They're trading right now at $2.05. Next up, Sonomax, that trades on the TSX Venture under the stock symbol SHH. Kind of sticking with the resource industry a little bit. What they announced is that Rio Tinto has now become their largest customer with over 2,000 employees now using their ear protection services. Uh, Rio Tinto, if you don't know, is an enormous mining company. They've got 30,000 employees in 29 countries, a market capitalization of $125 billion or so. Now, the company came out with a target, Rio Tinto that is, just a while ago that said they do not want to expose any of their employees to decibel levels of greater than 82 decibels. So what does Sonomax do? They provide them with these with these ear protection systems. Uh, what's really great and what I like about this press release is they start out with Rio Tinto Aluminum, one of the divisions back in 2005. They've slowly grown to other divisions of Rio Tinto and now Rio Tinto is actually asking some of its joint venture partners to also incorporate Sonomax uh, ear healthcare protection. So you got to like that trend. The company right now is trading at 32 cents. Next up, World Water and Solar Technologies trades on the OTC under the stock symbol WWAT uh, announced that that they're going to build a two megawatt solar system at Denver International Airport. That's uh, that's pretty big. They're going to begin construction right now and they're expecting completion in 2008. Take a look at these numbers. Expecting to generate 3.5 million kilowatt hours of clean electricity annually. When you add that on to the recent announcement of a similar contract with Fresno Yosemite International Airport, World Water has now become the leading solar contractor of airports in the United States. They're trading at $1.92. You got to like it when you see clean renewable energy contracts of this magnitude. And sticking with that theme, last up, Wavefront Energy and Environmental Services trades on the uh, TSX Venture under the stock symbol WEE, announced that their their uh, their uh, power wave process is going to be implemented by a top five global oil producer. The uh, the name of the company is undisclosed, but what we do know is that uh, they're going to implement two power wave programs, uh, one in North America, one in the United Kingdom. Uh, this will be the first installations of these of this kind ever taken undertaken by a major global producer. Uh, Wavefront is a provider of oil recovery and optimized groundwater re- remediation. 
What I like about this press release is the quote from Wavefront President CEO Brett Davidson. I'll read for you here. In an industry where there exists approximately 167,000 water injection wells used for secondary oil recovery in the United States alone, the prospects for Power Wave are significant. The company's trading at $1.19. And as you know, if you've been a regular watcher of the show, uh, I really like to see small cap companies having their technology implemented with global majors because that's the ultimate indication of commercial acceptance and waterfront energy environment has obviously hit that. That's a wrap for the day. As always, if you've got some market intelligence to provide, we're going to post these notes to our blog shortly after broadcast. And as always, if you're looking for more great small caps, make your way over to the Agorcall Marketplace. We've now got over 70 companies uh, divided by industry in exchange, so you can find companies that best suit your investment portfolio. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.